booktube, it's Brecky from Brecky Writes. This is Brecky Reads, and this is an emergency book haul. Now you might be thinking, why do you have an emergency book haul? Aren't you on a book buying ban? Yeah, but I really needed to buy some books. Those of you who have been on Twitter and on booktube for the last couple of days know that there has been a really horrible video circulating about why diversity is bad. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about that video because that video is trash, but it got me thinking about my own reading habits and the fact that I tend to read a lot of white writers. This is not intentional. I really believe in diversity. I believe in own voices. I believe in broadening the conversation and who is at the publishing table, but I've been reading a lot of white chicks. So as a way of putting my protest into action, as a way of backing up my words about how important diversity is to me with real appreciable actions, I literally put my money where my mouth was, and I went out and I bought a couple of the books I've been meaning to get and just hadn't purchased. So here is my emergency, diverse, owned voices book haul. All of these purchases came from my local Barnes & Noble. I know that not everybody has access to big bookstores like Barnes & Noble or even to great indie bookstores, but y'all, if you're serious about purchasing and supporting diverse books and diverse authors, you can go to Target and pick up books. A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir is sold at Target. So is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon and several books by David Levithan. They are diverse authors in their different ways. So don't let that stop you. Diversity happens not just around ethnic and racial differences, but around our religious differences, our sexual orientation differences, gender differences, nation of origin differences. If you're really serious, you will find those books and you can support those authors. You can order online and request that those books be bought by your library. You can do something to create a more diverse publishing industry. You as a booktuber, you as a person who consumes this kind of media. So don't let that stop you. All right, here are the books that I purchased today. The first is a book that I've been meaning to get for the last year, and that is Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. This book literally has an advertisement that says we have diverse books in the back of it. The main character in this is Sierra Santiago, who discovers that she has the ability to shape shadows. She is a powerful young woman who must negotiate discovering she has this new power and what that means for her. Daniel Jose Older is a great guy to follow on Twitter. He is constantly tweeting about diversity in the publishing industry. He's funny. I've been wanting to read this for a while. If you are looking for an own voice writing in fantasy, if you are looking to see a strong Latina heroine, then look no further than Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. One of the reasons people have told me they don't read diversely is because they read in fantasy and sci-fi and there's not a lot of writers of color writing in those genres, which is an unfortunate reality that percentage-wise, yeah, there aren't. But the winner of the World Fantasy Award for this year is Black. So there is no excuse if you are a fantasy lover to not read diversely. That book was the fifth season. That woman is N.K. Jemisin. This is the first in the Inheritance Trilogy, I believe, and I have no clue what this is about, but it won the World Fantasy Award. How can I not pick up an own voice story who won the World Fantasy Award? If you're a fantasy lover and you're looking for diverse voices, here is one for you. The next book is a book I was so excited about. I didn't think it was coming out until later in the week, but my Barnes & Noble happened to have it, and that is Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. I hope I said her name correctly. This is a story about Mexican family, I believe, and the magic that one of their children is born with and negotiating of that. It is about brujas. I'm not really sure what that is, but this has gotten great reviews so far. I am really, really excited to pick this up. I believe that this is a debut novel as well. So if you are looking for something right off the shelf, something brand new, this comes out this week. I think it technically comes out tomorrow. So you can go right now and be one of the first folks to get Labyrinth Lost. And the final book is a book I've been meaning to pick up for ages. This is a contemporary, and I don't generally read contemporaries, but in case you're wondering, there are all kinds of diverse books and diverse authors. So I have picked up Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Now, Nicola Yoon is wonderful to follow on Twitter. She's a black woman married to an Asian man, and they have this adorable child. And this is her debut novel about a young girl who is literally allergic to everything, everything. She kind of has to stay in her house. She is not allowed to go to school because she has such a weak immune system. And a new boy moves in next door and they start a friendship and I believe a little bit of a romance. I am excited about this because Nicola Yoon, of course, is an own voice, but also because this shows the diversity in abled bodiedness. As someone who has a chronic illness, I totally understand the kind of limitations and I don't often see that portrayed 
read well in literature, it's only ever seen as like the worst thing that could ever happen to you and you have no life and you're kind of this pitiable creature. I've heard that this is really empowering and kind of flips a bit of that narrative that we often hear. So I'm really looking forward to reading Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. There are so many other books that you can go and pick up today if you are serious about reading more diversely and reading more diverse authors. There are three fantasy books here, two YA and one adult. There's one YA contemporary. This is just a small smattering and I am so grateful that I can literally back my protest with my dollars, that I have the uh, luxury of using my money as a way of protesting. You can do that too. You are a reader. You are choosing the books that you check out from your library or that you buy at your local bookshop. The way that you change the publishing industry is by voting with your dollars, by buying books, by diverse authors, buying books that feature diverse casts of characters. That's how we change things. That's how we make diversity normative. So this has been my emergency book haul. I hope you all are now inspired to go out to your local bookstores and libraries and pick up some diverse authors. Comment down below and let me know if there are some diverse authors or books you think I would like. I am always looking for new and inspiring books. I would love to have a giant list of more books that I will constantly go and buy because that that's what I do. I collect books. I love them. Thank you all for watching. I hope you are all well and I will talk to you soon. Bye!